हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन लास्ट वीडियो वी स्टडीड द जनरल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ फाइलम इकानोडरमेटा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फाइलम इकानोडरमेटा सो द फाइलम इकानोडरमेटा इज डिवाइडेड इनटू द टू सब फाइलम द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज the lutherozoa and second one that is the palmatozoa so here the lutherozoa which is the first subphylum we just study the different classes from lutherozoa so the first one that is the asteroidea second class is ophiroidea third one Echinoidea, fourth one, Holothuroidea. So these are the four classes from subphylum Lutherozoa. The second subphylum, which is known as the Palmatozoa. So the Palmatozoa is divided only into a single class. We call it as a Crinoidea. So this is about the two subphylum of phylum echinodermata and the classes from these two subphylum now we will study the subphylum lutherozoa in the detail now here we will study the characteristic of phylum lutherozoa subphylum lutherozoa sorry so these animals from the subphylum lutherozoa they are free living without stem or stalk actually the animals they don't have stem like structure body structure or they don't have the stalk like body structure the mouth which lies on the surface <coughs> which facing downwards okay and we uh, just call that surface as the oral surface and the anus which is present on the aboral surface because already when we studied the characters of phylum echinodermata we said that some of the animals they are flattened and the flattened animal they possesses the uh, oral and aboral surfaces so here the mouth of these animals which included here in the subphylum lutherozoa which lies on oral surface while the anus which is present on the aboral surface body division if you are thinking about the body division the body is pentamerous two fits or the podia they are present and they are useful as a locomotory as well as food gathering organs means they are helpful for collecting the food materials too nervous system which is located on the oral surface and already we studied that this is a phylum which is divided into the four classes asteroidea ophiroidea echinoidea and the holothuroidea so next we study the four classes in a detail now let us start with the class asteroidea the animals from class asteroidea they are free living slow creeping and predaceous animal the body which is flattened star shaped or we also call it as a pentagonal body radial symmetry the animal shows the radial symmetry and the body is differentiated into central disc and arm so these are the two divisions of the body the arms which are usually five in number but their number may vary up to 50 <coughs> sorry oral and aboral surfaces they are distinct here uh, uh, the spelling mistake is there it is oral o r a l oral and aboral surfaces they are distinct endoskeleton which consists of the separate ossicles the oral surface <coughs> which bears the mouth and the five narrow open ambulacral groove two to four rows of locomotor tube feet or the podia they are present in each of the ambulacral group 
which are retractile and provided with the terminal suckers the respiration is takes place with the help of the pupillae then the movable pincer like spines <coughs> we call them as the pedicellaria they are also present the sexes are separate development includes either the bipinaria larva or it includes the brachiolaria larva so the example of the class asteroidea that is the star sea star pentaceros okay so these are the different example now we just study the different example see this is the asteropectin whatever the characters we study we are able to observe all these characters here so this is the aboral surface you are able to observe the animal with the help of aboral surface okay uh, here the white colored structure madreporite which is present okay so here the madreporite is there these are the five different arms first second third fourth fifth okay so these are the five different arms see this is the pentaceros okay this is the second example from class asteroidea now next we study the second class that is the class of eroidea the body which is flattened and star shaped arms are usually five in number they are long slender cylindrical and joint and the arms are highly flexible see here the arms which are present in asteroidea class which is um, actually class asteroidea which is not flexible but here in case of class of eroidea the arms which are flexible ambulacral grooves are absent then the pedicellaria skin gills special sense organs they are absent madreporite is present and that madreporite is uh, present on the surface then the two feet which are not locomotory but they are useful for uh, only the process of respiration and they are tactile in a nature so they receive the sensation of touch then the locomotion is affected by slender arms <coughs> sexes are separate development includes the free swimming larva okay then examples brittle star of your dumps so these are the different examples so let us study the different examples so this is the brittle star see already we studied that the uh, observe the arms the arms are flexible but same uh, if you just study the animal from the class asteroidea the arms are not flexible here these in case of brittle star which is from the class of eroidea the arms are flexible so this is the second example of your dumps okay next example goragonocephalus observe the arms uh, see it looks like the ब्रांचेस ऑफ ट्री जस झाड़ा फांद्या आता एक मेन खोड आता तो खोड़ा फांद्या मेन फुटले फांदी परत अजु छोटे छोटे फांदे आता तसे इतने हे स्ट्रक्चर है कि मेन पांच आर्म्स है पांच आर्म मिल बता तुम्हें केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व के सग्या आर्म्स जे हैं डिवाइड और रिडिवाइड होता है ओके सो दिस इज दी थर्ड एक्जाम्पल फ्रॉम क्लॉस ऑफ इरोडिया next we study the class echinoidea see the body which is globular body is heart shaped disc like and without the arms then the endoskeleton which forms a shell and the immovable calcareous ossicles are present outer surface of the shell which is covered by long movable spine and this surface of shell when it is covered by the movable spines the spine it is useful for process of locomotion the outer surface shows the five ambulacral uh, uh, alternative five ambulacral and five interambulacral zones are there okay then the oral and aboral sides which are distinct we can easily distinguish between oral and the aboral sides 
mouth which is an uh, present on the oral side and the aboral surface carries the anus as well as it carries the madreporite so the madreporite and anus they are present on the aboral surfaces see here the ambulacral grooves are absent okay then the tube pits are present and tube pits they, they are present in the two rows on each ambulacral zone so the tube pits they are present specifically in the two rows try to remember that the tube pits which are helpful in the locomotion they are present in the two rows and ambulacral they are present on each side of the ambulacral zones the two feet they are having ampullae as well as they possesses the suckers and since the two foot two feet they are useful for locomotion respiration these are the two processes where the two feet are useful in addition to that the two feet they are act as a tactile organ means they are receiving the sensation of touch so here two feet are useful as a locomotory organ they are useful as a respiratory organ and they are useful as a tactile organs okay then the pedicellaria they are present and they are stocked pedicellaria and they are three jawed okay so so the three jaws are present and these pedicellaria they are with stalk so we call it as a stalk pedicellaria mouth which possesses the five teeth with the elaborate system of fossicle forming the characteristic aristotle's lantern like structure when the sexes are separate development includes the free swimming larva and the example of the class echinoidea that is echinus or the clypeaster and the well known example that is the echinocardium so let us study see these are the three examples the first one the echinus okay so the here you are able to observe hmm, the echinus how it looks the echinus in its natural habitat then echinocardium see this is the echinocardium and the third example that is the clypeast okay so this is the first one the this is the oral surface this is the aboral surface so we are saying that this is the oral surface we are able to observe the mouth exactly in the center and the another one that is the aboral surface so oral and the aboral surface you are able to observe so this is the aboral surface whatever in echinocardium the surface you are able to observe that is the aboral surface okay so this these are the three different examples okay and these examples are from class echinoidea echinus echinocardium and the clasped the next class that is the holothuroidea the body which is elongated cylindrical and the body of the animal is without arms so all the animals from holothuroidea class holothuroidea they possesses the elongated body cylindrical body and the body is without arms then the endoskeleton which is reduced to microscopic ossicles or the spicules skin is soft thin or leathery without spines and pedicellaria oral and aboral ends they are very distinct we can easily distinguish them oral end is anterior and has a mouth and again that mouth is surrounded by a refractile a uh, ring of refractile and sometimes the branched tentacles are also present uh, which surrounds the mouth these are modified tube feeds and they are often called as the buccal podia then the aboral end which is posterior and has the anus locomotory tube feeds usually they are present means that tube feeds are present and tube feeds are helpful for process of locomotion and they occupying the five ambulacral areas ambulacral grooves are absent elementary canal which is long and coiled 
and the cloaca usually having the respiratory tree. Sexes are separate. Development includes the auricularia larva. And the example of the class Holothuroidea are Holothuria, Thione, and the Synapta. So these are the examples. So let us study the examples. So this is the Holothuroia. See cucumber. Okay. Here the Thione. And the third one that is the Synapta. So these are the different examples. Just to observe the body structure. And try to remember the examples we already studied in the previous classes. Three classes. Okay. So these are the three different examples. Holothuria, Synapta and the Thione. Okay. Let us start with the next subphylum. Subphylum Palmatozoa. So mostly the animals they are extinct and in early life they are attached by the aboral stalk and they are supported by the rows of the calcareous ossicles. Oral surface is directed upward and bears both mouth as well as anus. So both mouth and anus they are present on the oral surface itself. Then the tufids they are ciliated food catching and uh, actually the food capturing is takes place without the suckers and they function only in a respiratory and tactile organs actually the tufids though they are present they are helpful for only and only for the process of respiration and for receiving the sensation of touch means they are act as a tactile organ so the spines madreporite and pedicillaria they are totally absent main nervous system uh, which is present and the nervous system is aboral and actually this phylum includes only a single living class and the class is the cryonida so let us study the characters of class cryonida here the animals are extinct and some of them they are present in a living form okay usually they remain attached permanently or temporarily by a jointed stalk to the bottom of the sea means these animals they remain attached to the substratum either the substratum is a living thing or it may be a non-living means it is it may be a sea bot bottom of the sea many they are free swimming and they are without stalk body is enclosed in a cup like thicka pentamerous body is there and the pentamerous body is with upwardly directed oral surface and downward aboral surface. See, it is exactly opposite. Uh, when we study the subphylum litherozoa, their oral surface always faces towards the ground. But here exactly opposite is their oral surface faces upwards and the aboral faces Sorry, aboral surface faces downwards. So, the exactly opposite which is present here in the class Cranoidea of subphylum Palmatozoa. The arms, they are long, slender and usually they are 5 or sometimes they are 10 in the number. Branch, the arms, they are branched with small alternating branches, the pinules. The ambulacral grooves are ciliated, radiate out from the mouth on the oral side of the arms and the pinules to their tips. Then the calcareous endoskeleton is also present. Two feeds, they are without ampullae and suckers and they are useful for excretory respiratory and tactile function. Pedicillaria, spines and the madreporites are absent here. Sexes are separate. Development which includes the doliolarial larva and the animals they possess great power of regeneration and actually it is the characteristic feature of Echinodermata. The example that is Antedon we also call commonly it as the feather star and another example is the sea lily. Now let us study the example. See this is the Metacrinus. You are here you are able to observe the stalk like structure and here many arms are there. 
okay so this is the metacrinus the second example is antedon okay so these are the arms okay arms they are branched again baka ithe parat he arms branch jhalela dista ahe okay so this is about the antedon the third example actually the first uh, uh, example metacrinus here again we study the another example of the metacrinus so here it looks like this way so this is the stalk which remain attached here and these are the arms various arms we are able to observe thank you